Yeah. So we'll continue the kind of concept of scripts. Uh, in the in the earlier uh, session, we were discussing about how to create a page, uh, how to create a page windows, and then text elements and assigning the text elements to the windows. All these things we are doing in the scripts. After that, uh, what we have to do is we have to create a create a SE38 uh, print program, and then we have to attach that program to this particular form. For that, we are going to use five standard uh, function models. They are open underscore form is a function yeah, these are all function models uh, start underscore form write underscore form end underscore form close underscore form so these are the five different function models which we are going to use it in our program uh, to attach this particular script with our program print program okay so let's write the program. Okay, you can also see a preview of what we have done till now. Printing test, we can go to the printing test. And in the printing test, by default, the output device is MT0. It's a default printer. If you have the default printer only, you will be able to, if you have the default printer only, then we'll be able to save it, okay? And then print preview. You can see the print preview if you have the output as a print. Now, if you observe Jets of Tech India Private Limited is uh, in, in a capital letters in a bigger way. And here we have all these are, you know, uh, in a uh, font is uh, you know, of less size and uh, on Jets of Tech India Private Limited is in cap in in 20 length uh, size is 20. And for this it size is less because we have designed in that way, right? So wherever we have XXS or there, the dynamic data is going to populate. Okay. So let's do that for with the SE 38 program. So let's go to the SE 38 and create a form form executable now here let's go with let's go with this program and in this I'll take tables what is the table that I have to take now? KNA1 K and then types begin of ST underscore KNA1 ST underscore KNA1 No, KNA1 is mandatory because that's a customer number, right? Even though you are not using it. underscore GP right Then what do we have? The select statement is very common as we do in the in, in normal programs, but you will not write the loop and uh, that concept because we are going to print that in the script. We are going to pass the values here. From from K N one into table it underscore k n one where k n k u n n r in s underscore k u n n r that's it right now we have to we don't have to write the loop and all we have to call the open underscore form for uh, function model open underscore form and in the open underscore form we just you know uh, uh, uncheck this exporting and form name the form name we have to give it from what we have designed the sc sc71 transaction and the form name is zjhs11 so zjhs11 and then we have to go for just uncomment the exceptions 
language and comment the language then let's go with pattern start underscore form uh, in the start underscore form export and comment the exporting form is like zjhs11 language en or you can also give it as something like you know sy langu by default it will take sy langu start page start page is what start page is main oh no page one okay and program name is sy repid and exceptions you can uncomment the exceptions and then write form so in the write underscore form I just uncomment this exporting type is body set function main window okay and uh, element element would be main window main and exceptions uncomment the exceptions once it's been done uh, we have to say write form is there then we have to click on end underscore form and in underscore form we don't have to do anything here just if 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 required or if if needed you can just uncomment the exceptions uncomment the exceptions what what exactly will be the advantages in case like if you have any uh, any unwanted things or you know unexpected things happen it can immediately pop up a message okay end underscore form close and scope form so once it's done okay let me check if all the values are uh, mandatory values have been updated because it's not going to work if it doesn't happen so here we give the script name or the form name language page one is very pretty okay now let's give thousand and say five thousand execute you have to give uh, lp0 is the default uh, output device and click on print preview you have this data select statement it is actually picking up only one record oh the thing is here before this start underscore form we have tried the loop loop at it underscore kna1 into what w underscore kna1 right so we have to write a loop before the starter form and we have to close the loop after end form now what exactly this loop will do is it will get each time it gets into the loop it gets a new record into from the internal table to work area this concept is clear right okay and that data is going going and pushing into the form so every time a new record will come into the work area and that is printed in the form clear Now, how many pages have been created? 436. If you observe, I'll, I'll click page down. The scroll down will not work here. The scroll down will work only for the first page. Okay, I have to go for page down. So, when I click on page down, you can just see that, you know, the two addresses changing in each and every page. And the page number is changing on the top. And, you know, the data which is changing in the two address is changing every, uh, you know, every value. Right? Yeah. that's it so this completes the a simple program and in this we'll also add the logo so how to add the logo is like you can have the logo in, the, in your desktop and uh, from the desktop you can upload that logo into our um, uh, SAP system and then we can get it so I'll just uh, 
take it from online First thing is we need to upload it into SAP system so that we need to go into SC78 transaction in the SC78 transaction open this graphics bitmap images double click on the bitmap images and make this change as a color and click on this button upload and in this we have to go for the file name what is the file name that we have here is the file name here is like uh, libraries pictures or oh, it should be BMP file otherwise it not be visible here so open it with uh, the paint Only bitmap images will are allowed here. I'll go for JHS one. Say okay. Close it. It's not visible. Okay, I'll just refresh that. Hmm. Where is it saved? color export check that libraries my documents also libraries pictures bitmap image jhs 555 now just say ok and this image gets uploaded and the image name is JHS, jhs triple five and this jhs triple five image we need to get we need to update in the form so if the what's the form here we have this is a form and this double click on the logo and then in the utilities no go ahead uh, create it create elements no. edit text elements in the text elements we have to insert graphics in the graphics you have to say color and uh, we need this is obsolete stored as text is obsolete it select this and click in this and then we have to go for jhs star it just uh, jhs triple five will be visible now this jhs triple five select that resolution you can change i'm putting the same uh, by default resolution back save form activate once it's been activated you have to execute this program again and let's see what happens now where's the program we have this is our program execute will give it us thousand and five thousand execute print preview oh it's going out of the box so we just have to put you know uh, pull that in, into the form okay so for that it's a very simple thing right yeah where do i have it settings form painter graphical painter logo have to be inside and we can also reduce the resolution if you want if it is if you set if you change the resolution also uh, it will reduce the size okay so settings form painter uncheck this okay uh, then what we have to do form activate now execute it again rerun that program i'll come out to this program execute it again 